Listen, getting successful, whatever you consider successful, if it's rich, whatever, it's not a magic trick. It's not God picks certain people he'll make rich and certain people he don't. He gives all of us as his children the power of choice. You have a say-so in that. You can decide to be rich. And with God's help, it's highly doable. But you first have to think it. The difference between successful people and non-successful people is here. I'm no better than none of y'all. I'm not a better person than you. I'm not a better Christian than you. God don't love me more than you. None of that. It, it's not. What makes it hard is your lack of belief that it can happen for you. The fact of it is, though, it's very doable. See, if what you got to change, though, if you keep doing what you've been doing, you're going to keep getting what you've been getting. So if you're at a place in your life and you ain't happy with it, you have to change some things. But you have to make a conscientious decision that you're going to change. And it's not dependent on anybody else. It don't matter what your mama think. It don't matter what your co-workers think. It don't matter what your siblings think. It don't matter what your children think. It don't matter. They have nothing to do with it. This decision is yours and yours alone. It's two people born in a hospital every day. It's a person that's born in a hospital that's going to get a job. And somebody born in a hospital that's going to give them a job. You get to decide which one you're going to be. You get to decide. Let me tell you something. You get to decide if I'm going to be rich, poor, mediocre, plentiful, happy, sad. You, you have a decision to make. Grab your remote. You press the power button. What do you expect to happen? You expect the TV to come on. Guess what? It come on. If you want to see Sports Center, Sports Center Channel 46, and you press 46 and OK or select, what do you expect to come on your TV? Sports Center. And guess what show up? Sports Center. They got the concept of creating a remote from the Bible. See, God is tied to all of us. You better understand what I'm trying to tell you. The Bible says, a man is as he thinks. God created us in his image. God thought of this world. He thought of it, so he created it. So he made you just like him, that your thoughts can create things. He made you just like him. Now you can't go make earth and heaven like he did, but you can make a better world for yourself. There is a scripture, Habakkuk 2 and 2. It says, write the vision and make it plain so that he who reads it will run to it. And even though it tarry, tarry means take a long time. Wait for it, for surely it will come at an appointed time. That's in the Bible. That ain't in the rich people's copy. <laughs> That's in everybody, everybody's Bible. The problem is everybody don't do it. But it's right there. But you got to do it. I'm just telling you, it's, if you don't do it, it's, it's, it's too hard. It's almost impossible. That vision board has changed. Brother. Everything I put on my vision board, I get. Everything. Now, you have to understand something. It's not going to come when you want it to come. It comes at an appointed time. That's the trick. But the appointed time is what throws people off. Because most of you, when you ask God for something, he sends it. He ships it immediately. As soon as you ask him something, you really believe he'll do it? He boxes it up and he ships it to you immediately. The problem with the package is he never gives you the date that the package is going to arrive. He doesn't do that. He doesn't do that. Because if he told you the date that the package would, rely, would, would arrive, 
it would destroy the requirement he has of all of us, which is faith. Faith is the belief in things that you cannot see. So if you ask God for a million dollars and he tell you I'm gonna give it to you in March of 2020, you wouldn't need no faith. You'd be talking to people crazy because you know in 2020, I'm finna be a millionaire. But he sent a million as soon as you asked for it. But it's going to come at an appointed time. The problem is people stop waiting on the package. Then when it get to you, because he delivers only to Faith Street, when he delivers to you on Faith Street, but you done stepped off of Faith Street, you over here on I don't see how circle. 